Geeks, I have a complete video on contouring. I love doing the education videos so much. That's my jam. I think it's the previous teacher in me coming out where I just, whenever I see that I'm gonna tape an educational video for you guys, I get so excited because I have props, I have demonstrations I'm gonna do for you, I have everything laid out, I have my lesson plan. I came with my A game today. So <laughs> what I wanted to do for you guys was to give you everything you need to know about contouring. What is contouring? What tools are best? How to pick the best colors for you? Everything that you guys need to know. So if you are a com contouring newbie or a contouring pro, hopefully at least you'll pick some little nuggets from this video that you can learn from. So anyways, let's get started on what is contouring. Contouring is giving shape to an area of the face and enhancing the facial structure through makeup. I know that was a very fancy way of saying basically you want to make your cheekbones pop and you want your face to look slimmer. So that's why the contouring thing is so hot right now. It will always be around to some extent because contouring gives you that natural dimension to your face. Instead of you looking all one color, when you contour it adds a little bit of 3D effect. And generally we do that under the cheekbone. You can do a little around the temples. I do a little under the chin. You're basically sculpting your face and giving it a very dimensional look while slimming it out, chiseling it and making your cheekbones pop. So that's kind of the whole idea of contouring. How to choose your color. Now people fall into generally two categories. There's an optional third one, but there's the cool tone and there's warm tone, and a third one is neutral tone, where basically you're a mixture of two. Cool tones are basically like beige and kind of pink undertones. So think all of the cool colors on the color wheel. You have your blues, your purples, your greens. That's all very cool tone. You can generally tell if you're a cool tone person, if you, when you look in the mirror, do you see more pink undertones or do you see more yellow? If it's more pink, then you're gonna be more cool. You can also look at your veins. It's not the best method. I know a lot of people say, oh, check your veins. Sometimes it's deceiving because not everyone's veins pop that much and especially if you, if you have medium to darker skin, it's a lot harder to see your actual veins. But if your veins in general look more green, you're going to be um, warm. If they look more blue, then you're going to be more cool tone. But in general, cool tone is for fair to fairly medium skin. If you're medium to dark in general, this is just a generalization, you're going to be more warm. But let me show you again the image of the cool tone skin. Do you see how these all have like a pink undertone to them? So that's more cool. More warm, think of fire colors. It's orange, red, yellow. That's going to be warm. When you look in the mirror, if you see lots of yellow and red undertones to your skin, that's how you can tell you're warm. But you'll have like that more bronzy glow. There'll be lots of like I don't know how to explain it, it's just very warm, just very fiery is what I think of when I think of warm. Also, if your veins are green, you tend to be warm, and, and if you look better in gold jewelry, that can be an indication of warm as well. There's lots of different ways. If you feel like, well, I'm not really sure, I don't see a lot of yellow or pink, you can be a neutral, and that's down the middle, and you can do either side. You can go cool or warm. So if you are, um, like with the contours I have coming out from Makeup Geek, I have them divided by cool and warm. If you're a neutral, you can take your pick. If you want more of a bronzy, sun-kissed look, pick a warm contour. If you want that more like defined, chiseled, kind of shadowy type, contour, then you're going to get the cool one, if that makes sense. Now choosing your color. So as you can see here, I have all of the colors. The top row are all cool ones. The bottom ones are warm. You want to choose the row that matches your skin. So if you are cool toned, you want a cool toned blush. If you are cool toned and you pick a warm blush, it can look very orangey and very unnatural. So you wanna go something that's similar to your skin tone. If you have warm skin, you're this bottom row. You, if you choose something that's too cool, too grayish, it can look very dirty and very um, just muddy looking, if that makes sense. So you, there is, I know there's a lot of controversy. Everyone's like, contours have to be all cool. That is not true whatsoever. I don't know who put that out out there but if you have um, warm skin and you go too cool with your contour it looks very dirty and unnatural because it doesn't match the underlying tone that you naturally have so pick something that is the same okay 
Now, as far as lightness to darkness, you want something that's two shades darker than your skin. So, and I have them labeled very well for you guys, so it's easy to pick the one for you. I have the porcelain range, I have a fair range, I have medium, and I have dark. So you wanna pick something that's the closest to your range of skin. For me, I'm the fair one. I'm not super, super light like my porcelain girls, so I pick the second one in. If you have medium skin, obviously you'll pick this side. If you are my chocolate girls, you'll pick the darkest one here. So hopefully that helps you guys with picking which colors are best for you to contour with. Okay, now how to actually contour. I'm gonna give you the best tools. So there's three that I love to contour with. The first one I have is the rounded contour brush or rounded blush brush. You can use this for blush or contour, but this one is best for like everyday kind of a softer contour because it applies a little bit here and the whole idea of it being round is you can literally buff in the contour just like this. So it gives you a little bit more of a softer everyday type contour. The next one is definitely more dramatic contour. This is the chiseled cheek brush. Looks like this one here. This is for a very sharp, defined line. If you want your cheekbones to be popping, you want that contour on fleek, you're gonna use this brush because it will give you a super razor sharp contour because it's a thin bristled brush. So you're literally going to apply it right under the cheekbone and chisel it right under there with that contour. So that's how you're going to use that brush. The third one is my personal favorite. I'm actually gonna demonstrate it for you guys. It's the angled stippling brush. I use this for blush, for contouring. Sometimes I'll use it for foundation. This is my go-to brush. It has an angled head to it. So literally you can place it right there under the cheekbone. Do you see that? How I'm angling it upward like this, and literally all you're gonna do is pat it. So let me show you guys. I'm gonna use my Fair Warm Contour, this one here. This is called Bad Habit. You like her names for those? We went for the opposite of love. So there's like infidelity, heartbreaker, and this one's Bad Habit. So we're doing the opposite side of love, obviously. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is you find your cheekbone, and it's generally gonna be slightly angled like this but you can feel your cheekbone, kind of feel for it and be like, okay, it's right up under there. You're going to place the brush just under and you see how I'm just patting that on and using this brush gives you a, an everyday finish as well and it's foolproof because you're literally just stippling it on right under the cheekbone. And then what you can do if you want all of your face to be contoured, you can kind of come alongside the temple and add a little bit of dimension here. And what it's gonna do, we're pretty much darkening the outer edges of the face. So it makes the center of your face more highlighted. It pops a little bit more. So let me pick a little bit more. And do you see how I'm just literally, let me do this side so it's a little even. Right there under the cheekbone. And it's allowing the tops of my cheekbones to shine because I'm darkening this part, making the cheekbones more prominent. Okay, for me too, because I have a little chin fluff, we gotta put some under the chin. This is how you're gonna make your face look thinner. So you're putting it under here, and you can put it up under the jawline if you have lots of extra fluff under here. And do you see how that now, it defined my features a little bit more and it changed kind of the shape of my face a little bit. Makeup is definitely amazing. You can completely change the look of your face with just makeup, it's crazy. So that is my favorite brush there. So we have the three brushes. You have the rounded blush brush, you have the chiseled cheek, which is super, super dramatic. I mean, that's like razor sharp. And then you have my personal favorite, the angled stippling brush, which you can also use to apply your brush. So that's the complete 411 on contour touring everything that you need to know. Hopefully that helps you guys with how to pick your colors, how to apply, what the best tools are, all the good stuff that you need to know. So have fun you guys with your makeup. I hope you're doing great and I will talk to you soon. Bye.